Um, as everyone knows on the footy show, I hosted it for a long time. I got relieved of my duties back in October last year, which was a bit of a shock and disappointment. But in this world, you've got to move on. You've got to put the big boy pants on and move on. And actually, I'm uh, extremely happy now being back in the commentary box and doing a bit of work with, with Rabs and, and Ray and, and all the boys, Joey and Sterlow. So it's good to be back at the local grounds, the grassroots of, of uh, rugby league and, and enjoying myself. But So I'm not here to whine and whinge about getting punted. I'm actually here to express my gratification at being allowed to host... Um, the footy show for the last 24 years and I think it's one of the greatest television shows in the history of television and I'm so proud to have been involved in it um, and how it all started. So myself and Sturlow started working in 1992 and uh, when we started the Sunday footy show in 93 and Gary Burns, our sports boss, he came to us and said, I think there's a prime time television show on YouTube and we said, what's prime time means? We had no idea. He says, yeah, I'm going to put you on at 9.30 on a Thursday night. We're going to do a show. So you can imagine the pitch. He went to the third floor and he said, tell you what I'm going to do, boys. I'm going to put a short, fat redhead who can hardly string three words together alongside <laughs> a balding ex-legend halfback with a massive nose and we're going to make goal television. Well, I don't know who it was goal, but we got there and the show started and it was just a dream to work on for a long, long time. And there's so many people to thank for that. And that's why I'm here now, because of the abruptness of how it all happened. I never got a chance to thank anyone. And there's so many people to thank. First up, all the executive producers of the show. And it started off with Virginia Hodson, who had two stints. She was outstanding. Uh, we had the late, great Matt Callender. Uh, he was fantastic. Rory Callahan, Cos Cardone. Steve Crawley was there for a while as well. Uh, Gary Burns himself. And Glenn Palliser did two stints, and he was magnificent. So I want to thank all them. I had a few headbutts with them all, but we also laughed a lot. Then we get to the talent that I worked with. And first up, you've got Peter Sterling. I mean, I love this bloke. Because when we were doing the show, we basically had no idea what we were doing back in the mid-90s. And I would be taking the show down a track that was almost irretrievable. But still, I would somehow drag it back. He was the voice of reason. He's a magnificent talent. I can't thank him enough for being my right-hand man for a long, long time. And we had a lot of fun doing the anti-ads. Uh, Yo Splat, whatever it was, it was fantastic. Move on, we had Ray Hadley, Steve Roach, they were great. And then, of course, um, the great, thank you very much, Mahatma Coat. Greg Ritchie was fantastic. The little jockey, Alan Robinson, he was gold for a long time. Never tipped me a winner in 20 years, but he was a great television talent as well. Then we moved on to what I reckon was the halcyon days of the footy show. Myself, Sterlow, Matt Johns and Paul Harrigan. Remember the Daredevil dudes? I mean, I don't know how many waivers I signed over all those years. We nearly got killed about 20 times, but Matt Johns was always a great talent. Uh, he was a pleasure to work with, gone on to bigger and, and greater things now. He's a good man. Paul Harrigan, I mean, you can't not love this bloke. He's one of the nicest human beings, if not the nicest, in the world. I love him. I miss him. It's always great to see him when we do. Mario Fennec, another guy that I love. It was always thought we didn't get on. We were always at each other, but he's one of the nicest blokes you'd ever meet as well. And then the show, all those guys ended up leading, and the show went through quite a few different... Uh, formats and, and lineups, but in the end, I think the last few years have been really good. With myself and Daryl Broman, who's he's a great talent, he's very funny. The small talk segment's fantastic. Um, Bo Ryan came on board, extremely funny man as well. He's great. And then Erin Mullen, who also has taken over the show. And Erin, I wish you all the best with the baby, and I hope it goes well and may you continue to host the footy show for a long, long time. Let's not forget Michael Slater came in, he's a cricketer. But I'll tell you what, he was very professional and he was a great man as well. So thank to all those guys. I want to thank the family, um, Kylie, Nikki and Matt, my three kids who became my best critics, sometimes a bit harsh, but they were great critics, and to my wife, Kim, who kept me grounded through all that time. She was great. Most of the time I'd come home from the show, she'd be snoring, but occasionally she'd be up and she'd be waiting in bed and I'd walk into the bedroom, she'd say, you're a dickhead. And I knew then it had been a magnificent show because it kept her up. So, and the last of all uh, to thank is the fans. Um, because you know what, we did, this, we did this show for the fans. Whether you supported Manly or Parramatta or it didn't matter, we did it for you. And it was pretty hard sometimes to get the balance right. Footy, too much footy, not enough footy. But we tried hard. We tried to keep you laughing for a long, long time. And look, I'm proud of a few things. I'm proud of the fact that the show won... 11 Logies, including the last five in a row, as the best sports show in Australia. 
I'm proud of the fact that we're still on air, the show's still going in its 25th year. I'm proud of the fact that I made a lot of friends and I'm also proud that when everyone came on, I like to think they walked off going, you know what, that was fun. I'd love to do that again. So look, I had a lot of laughs along the way and I hope you laughed with me and thanks for watching and it's a sign out for me. <laughs> but see ya. Back to you, champ. You're a good man, Fat. And I do want to say uh, tonight, usually it's just a couple of cameramen and a floor manager who are looking after us here in the studio at Suncorp Stadium. There's a coliseum of staff from the Wild Wild Sports four family people. who are watching on right now <laughs> because it's a, it's a mark of the man, because of who you are and what you've well, done. Well, I just wanted some closure and, and, you know, I didn't get the chance because of the abruptness of what happened yep. and I'm glad I've done that and... Thanks very much. Well, we're very happy to still have you a part of the Wild Ball Sports team with your commentary and, of course, the fun that we do have on the Friday nights. And as we head to the break, after hearing from the great man, a bit more gold from Fat and the footy show. Are you ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> mate, 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 mate. Multiple choice. <laughs> Sweet, the whole lot. There it goes. Come on, mate. He's done it. <laughs> G'day, I'm Steve Irwin, Crocodile Hunter. And this is my zoo. Hey, I'm Steve Irwin. I'm the Crocodile Hunter. And this is my zoo. Steve, I thought this was our zoo. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you.